Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the brand new AGV Horizon helmet, available at Revzilla.com. Now the AGV Horizon falls right in that sweet spot of the food chain from AGV. You know, at more of that entry level $200 price, you're gonna see the K3 and the K4 Evo. And then you step into the Skyline and the Horizon, really having some of the nicer upgrade features that you might see in the grid and the GP Tech, but you're not having to make that over $400 investment. So here with the Horizon, it's really an aggressive helmet, suited for a lot of different styles of riding, but when you throw the extra ventilation as well as the spoiler on it, you really end up with a more aggressive helmet, in my opinion. You wear it upright, but I think this helmet loves to be in the tuck or the three quarter. Now, if we look at it, it's one of the newer designs from AGV, and it's really playing off what I see as some of the design elements of the piece to GP, which is that prototype helmet that Rossi's wearing in MotoGP from AGV. They're starting to build things or build helmets that have a little more protection around the jaw and around the chin bar, and they have a very aggressive sweeping look to it. This graphic's called the Racer Red. Now let's talk about fit before we hit anything else here. The fit of the Horizon is different within the AGV line. We've seen some intermediate oval head shapes. You know, the Skyline is intermediate oval, the grid and the GP Tech are. The Horizon's actually a neutral to round shape, which we saw and it surprised us at first, but because there are other aggressive helmets in the AGV line, it's nice that AGV is putting out a helmet that's high-end functionality, but might cater to someone who doesn't have that typical traditional intermediate oval head shape. We're actually a big fan of it, and I think it's gonna gain a lot of fans from that. Now talking past it, kind of looking at the helmet from some of the nuances standpoint, you know, we do see the shell from is going to be ECE rated and DOT, but it's carbon glass. This is a new material from H, from AB, or from ABC, from AGV, and that's going to be a fiberglass and carbon construction, whereas the step up from that would really be that tri-composite that you see in the GP Tech, but the step down would be something like polycarb. So you're getting a bit more strength and weight savings without having to make the investment in the exotic materials that tend to drive the price up. You know, we threw a size medium on the scale gave us three pounds, 10 ounces. So not, not the heaviest scale in the bunch, not the lightest er, helmet in the bunch. It's gonna fall right in that sweet spot with what you'd expect. Now, if we look at it, some of the creature comforts, they're using a new shield mechanism. We have our polycard shield with strong detents. Shield change mechanism is fairly easy. You can see it here on the right. Just pop it down, it comes right off. Very easy to get back on there. Very simple, different shields available. If we look down here, again, I talked about the Hawks bill on it with this venting. The cool part is that the venting actually has a switch on the inside. And you can see it right here where my finger is. There is your open and close for the vent. One of the other things I wanna talk about is that that little dollop right there, that little circle, that's actually about the size of a dime or a nickel, it's completely removable and you can see those lines going from e either side. That's actually, if you install a communicator on this, on this helmet, you now have an area that doesn't stick out where you can kind of slide the boom mic into. You can remove that little dollop and now you have a boom mic that's gonna be more nestled within the helmet. So moving past that, let's talk about the ventilation. We've talked about chin venting. Moving up here, we see remnants of technology that they've completely stolen from the GP Tech. This is the IVR system, that integrated ventilation system. And in my opinion, I actually like the way that it sits lower profile within the helmet. If we think of a GP Tech, those big ridges stick out and they're very prominent. Think about Rossi's helmets that we've seen. On this helmet, we have the ridge down the middle. They're a little bit more low profile. Still have your big intakes. When I pull the liner, you're gonna see all the different channels on the inside, but again, you have that IVR that runs all the way back that now hits your extractors, which are seated below your spoiler here, your wing in the back. So high speed air comes over, creates a bit of an area of low pressure vacuum behind, and you're gonna have further extraction sucking that warm moist air out of the helmet. No winglet vents down here, but again, you can see with the shape of this helmet too, it's pretty aggressive. Now, one thing I wanna get into that I probably should have talked to a, a bit sooner is that this is definitely a more aggressive street level helmet. And you probably, when I said three pounds, 10 ounces, you said, well, it's right in the middle of the sweet spot, but it's a little heavier than I was expecting. What you have here is a drop down, optically correct, class one, anti-scratch, anti-fog, internal sun shield from AGV. Drops right down. My mechanism's over here, right on the side. Simple to use, up and down, easy to find with a glove, but it's nice to see that functionality now make its way here into the AGV helmet. From there, let's go into the guts. So as we pull it down, pull up my donut here, 
Look at it from the bottom on. Now remember, it has what you would think would be an intermediate oval type shape, but the interior guts more are that round or neutral oval. And as we start to pull everything out, you're gonna see that we do have our cheek pads, which are integrated with our neck roll, typically three snaps, if I can get them out. And you're gonna notice too that we're really happy that AGV has done this. You also have cutaways for your speaker pockets. So here's the interior. The interior on all the new AGV helmets is very much an upgrade of what we've seen in the past. They're using a material called Drylex, which is wicking antimicrobial, but it's just downright comfortable. And especially on the comfort liner, which is gonna to touch your head, there's a lot of padding built in there. So here's my right side, my left side rather. Let's pull out my right. Notice we even have reflective on the bottom. So you can see the bottom of the neck roll, pretty all encompassing. Here's my Drylex material with some mesh for breathability. See the way that that pulls out. And now let's go, whoop, I pulled out my speaker pocket here. Show you that in a sec. Now let's go for my main comfort liner. So two snaps in the front, two snaps in the back, and we can see that one of the key things using that IVR system, as you can see there are three holes on either side and they're gonna directly channel the IVR vent, which is a 10 millimeter vent holes, right into your head and scalp. And then that warm moist air is gonna pull your sweat away and exhaust through the back. And the inside, I talked about earlier, if we turn it inside out, you're going to see these big areas of 3D foam padding that are really, really comfortable. So you have your areas that are going to flow area or flow air, and then you have the area that are gonna sit against your head, both on the neck roll, around the crown of your head. They're just gonna be very comfortable and they're gonna be wicking and they're gonna hold up in the longer term. Let's show the interior here. Again, you're gonna see a big area of foam and you're gonna see my big, you can see those IVRs right there where they're coming through directly from the IVR system, which is those chimney vents on the helmet, and they're gonna channel through and give you great airflow. Again, that's technology that was pioneered for Rossi for the GP Tech that's now making it all the way down to a three to $400 helmet. And I did mention that there are speaker holes. It comes installed with these discs, which are gonna live in that hole, but you remove them, and now you have a hole that's plenty big enough for a speaker here on the side, and they're gonna be on both sides. So again, remember, this is the baby brother, slightly. You're not making the investment in tri-composite on the shell from something like the grid, but these are the, you know, the Horizon and Skyline, which in my opinion are part of the same family. They're similar helmets with different positionings and, and shapes. They're really dramatically forward from what we've seen from something like the, the K3 and the K4 Evo from AGV. AGV continues to listen to its customer and its dealers, and they're continuing to improve their product, which is really nice to see. I wanna hear your feedback on the AGV uh, Horizon helmet. Leave us your feedback on our YouTube channel, which you're probably watching, or Revzilla TV, or Revzilla.com on the product page. Also subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, our YouTube channel. Click right here to subscribe, and every week you're gonna get an update with all the latest gear video, review videos that we're constantly rolling out. If you wanna geek out on these, and talk to anybody, a member of TeamZilla on staff, shoot us a line via email, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455 via phone. And as always, these are over 30 bucks. Ship for free, exchange for free, no restock fee if you need to send it back to us. And you can always earn TeamZilla cash on any order over 100 bucks to be applied to your next order. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the AGV Horizon helmet available in solids and graphics, revzilla.com slash AGV helmets. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.